Alright, welcome back to part two of this insane, ridiculous problem. Um, we were going, in the last time, we were talking about how we we're trying to figure out the total volumes of, what was it, nitrous acid and sodium nitrite. Ha, got it this time. Alright, so sodium nitrite must be added to form 1.6 liters of solution buffered at 3.55 pH, given that the K of A is that. Well, we had this Hasselbalch equation out here. We plugged in P of H, which, which we found was this, and plugged in there. We found what the P K of A is, plugged that, plugged the K of N in, and got that. But we we didn't know what else to do with this, so I figured, let's just use the ratio. We don't care about this very much. So, we plugged in that, we fought, solved the ratio, which ends up being 1.597. Then we set up this equality based upon that. Then we went back to the question, read it again, found that this ratio held true, because the volumes of these two must be added to form this much of a solution, so add it together. But we also realized that there must be a dilution process involved since these two were separate at once and had their own volumes, and that's what we're solving for. And then added together to make this a concentration of of change, which is what those concentrations that you're supposed to put in here. So, realize how the ratios are really important to use in some questions for this. We made it all the way here. Now we have, why did I write M of B? This is supposed to be M of A. Ah, uh, that really pisses me off sometimes. Um, but, yeah, M of A prime. So, now we're at the point where we have the same variable in both of these. So, when we plug in, in here, we lose two variables because, you know, we solve for this and solve for this. We lose those two variables, so we just have one variable to solve for. Now... What's the purpose of solving for that variable, though? If we know that concentration alone will give us... This concentration alone, just knowing that, because we know the, the rationality or the equality here that we plugged in here, we can solve for both of these, the volume of both, just by knowing this. I mean, yeah, it's that simple. All right? So let's solve for the volume of both now. All right? So let's start off here. Well... Actually, let's start off here because we still need to simplify this. So, that times 1.6 gives us 2.55, right? Then divide both sides by 0 0.75. Gives us 3.4. Uh, let's go ahead and say 3.41 because that's what my calculator says. So, V of B, trying to be more exact than this calculator because you know I can't input everything. So V of B is equal to 3.51. Oh, you thought that was the final value? No. Times M of A. Don't forget this. Like, we haven't gotten rid of this yet. Haven't gotten rid of it yet. Alright? So now we take that, or now we just go here. V of A is equivalent to, we just do 1.6 divided by that. It's just that simple. Um, some people can do this in their heads. I mean, it's real not hard. I just do it to just to show you in case you didn't have a calculator to follow along. I'll just do that. And then times M of A prime. Now we can set these two equal together. Yay! We're almost there, guys. Alright, so if we take this and add it and plug it in here, right? And then take this and plug it in there. We're a bit essentially saying that this part right here, this part, is a uh, plus this will give us 1.6. Now, here's the thing though, they both have M of A prime, so can't we just factor that out? And then just do 5.33 plus 3.41, because we if we multiply this out, it would be 5.33 times that, plus 3.41 times that, and if, as you can see, it's exactly the same thing, equals 1.6. So we just do 1.6, 1.6 divided by the sum of these two numbers, 3.41 plus 5.3333, whatever. And that gives us 0 0.183. Yep, what? Well, 0.183. So we now have the final concentration of the acid after, or the required concentration of the acid needed for this pH. We could figure out what the base is if we just plug it all back in here. Or we could just use this relationship here. Just multiply that number by this and we get the concentration of the base. Easy. 
Alright, so 0 0.183m. But knowing the concentration of the base only helps us to find the volume of the, the of this the initial volume of the base here. But what's the point? I mean, that's just more work, in my opinion. So let's just take this number and plug it into here, and then take that number, plug it into here. Oh yeah, I just think that's the simplest one. All right, so multiply by five point three 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 three. We get that as the initial volume of the acid. I mean, it was like you just it just flashed right by your eyes, didn't it? So V of A. Drum roll. Equals five point three three times this thing right here. I'll go ahead and write it out in blue so I can keep 0.183 as close enough in blue anyway. Which is equal to this number that we got. Wrong button. <laughs> 0.976. Point nine seven six liters. Zero point nine seven six liters. Then we could just plug it into that equation and solve for V of B, which equals um, one point six minus zero. That's a big one. Zero point nine seven six which equals, drum roll please, uh, I'm just going to do minus 1.6 and then take the 0 .96, not, uh, 0 0.624 liters. I don't know, got this number on the brain now. Yeah. 24. So there we have it. We now have the answer to this problem right here. <laughs> it it is 0.976 liters of the acid and 0.624 liters of the base. I just awestruck uh, on this question when I saw it on my test. Uh, the longest problem to do. The craziest one in my opinion. But after working it through me, with me, <laughs> not through me, with me, you should see, like, oh, it's not that bad. You just had to think of using these dilution equations and think of how to manipulate it in order to get to this. Um, trial and error, that's all I can say. But now that you've worked this one out with me, I'm pretty sure you can work out a lot more problems. All right? Um, I don't know what topic to work on next, so see you in the next video.